All right, today I'm going to be showing you a new application called the iPhone PC Suite. And what this does, it allows you to connect to your iPod or iPhone and uh, transfer files to and from it um, without SSH. Um, you don't need SSH for this to work. Um, it's a real neat program. Um, you can download it from my uh, website. After you've uh, downloaded it and extract it, you're going to want to run this file called the uh, iPhone PC Suite. And after you open it up, you're going to get this uh, message. It's going to tell you that if um, you drill, jailbroke your uh, iPod or iPhone using the Z iPhone, you're going to have to install a patch. Um, one thing when you first open it up, make sure that your iPod's plugged in or your iPhone's plugged in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just follow all these steps and just add that source and then um, install the Z iPhone iBreaker fix. Just go to the iPod, go to installer. Go to sources. You need to click edit, add, and then type in i.unlock.no and then click OK. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to go through that. And then um, after you have it installed, just refresh uh, refresh your um, installer. So I click and refresh up there. And then you're going to go to install, then go down to unlocking tools. And then you're going to install this uh, down here where it says ZI phone iBreaker fix. If you want to uh, install that. Install. Um, after you got that installed, it's going to tell you you need to restart your iPhone. So let's go ahead and do that at this point. Just going to just manually restart. Just hold the power button down up top. Just slide the power it off. And once the power is off, and turn it back on. First, I'm going to just go ahead and click OK on this error message. All right, turn the uh, iPod back on. All right, at this point, pop back up. I was going to tell you to go through a couple series of steps. Basically, what you have to do is just reboot. You reboot your iPod or your iPhone. Um, first, it's going to ask you to install uh, the Sweet Daemon. So just go ahead and just click install. Now it's asking you to uh, reset your iPhone. Let's go ahead and do that. It's off, power back on. Tick this box and press the button below. Click continue. Now it's asking you to restart your iPhone again, so we'll go ahead and do that. Hold the power button down. Alright, that's back up. Now it's asking you to tick this box and press the button again. Now it says checking, so click it. Okay, um, one of the re real neat features about this is this uh, finder. You can see this uh, looks pretty similar to WinSCP. Um, best part is though you don't need a SSH, and essentially you don't you don't even need Wi-Fi to get to any of your files. Um, you can also uh, change. Um, let's see. You right-click on a file. You click on. I'm not sure what that says. It's Chinese. But click on that. You can change the permissions. Um, to any of these or to your files on your iPod or iPhone so a lot of fixes require you to change permissions um, go ahead and click exit uh, some other neat features um, if you click on the iPod this will give you access to all your audio and video that's on your iPod um, I don't have any synced up right now because I just uh, rigged really broke my uh, iPods to show you how this uh, works as far as setting it up if you use the Z iPhone to jailbreak. But you, you can't access all your music and stuff and you can uh, 
drag and uh, copy to and from your iPod to your desktop.